It's about quality of life um, after surgical treatment of SIH, and it's it's about prospectively gathered data. So the objective was, um, do we really reach that outcome that we see in these um, pharmaceutical uh, prospects of the healthy young people jogging around in Hawaii? How can we really assess it prospectively? And what we did, uh, we did a prospective database uh, and we did the so-called PROMS, patient-related outcome measures via the tablets in the hospital before surgery. And then we followed these patients just by email and send them the prompts. And in the hospital, we trained them how to respond. And we reached the Eurocall Research Foundation measure, which is the EQ5D as, as a prom, which measures quality of life regardless of the disease, has several dimensions, has an index, and also a visual and a log scale. And um, we started this uh, in 2019. It was prospectively gathered and uh, 80 patients responded up to now, surgical cases. And so I think the severe impact Ian has shown, and Deborah has shown, uh, I think we can change that. So here are the results. And this is preoperative, three months. Postoperatively, uh, uh, there's the first significant change and it gets a slightly a little bit better after six months. So wait a little bit when you're sure you, you've done the plumbing. And this is what I think is very interesting. And Ian Carroll helped us with analyzing these data, set them into relation of the general population in Germany. So it's not just a headache. They are really severely impacted, the patients. And even, which is very funny, there was no, we didn't talk before that session, what to present. We came to the same results. So look at that, these are the, for the same test, for the same EQ5D in the same population in Germany, this is the, the mean of lung cancer patients and severely affected multiple sclerosis patients, and it exactly fits patients with SIH. So it's not just a headache. It's a syndrome or disease that affects our patients as severe as um, end-stage lung cancer and severe multiple sclerosis. And the nice thing is that we can uh, significantly uh, do better, and they almost get to the level of, of the general population in Germany. So probably surgery, when we find the leak, it's a different population. It's a bit clear leak, and we can close it. The impact is way better than blood patching. And we also anal analyzed, I have to look that up, uh, depression, anxiety, and stress levels. And they significantly improved after surgery as well. And what is also very interesting since I mentioned low back pain earlier today, uh, there seems to be a difference. In, in, in low back pain, we have these red flags and these yellow flags before doing surgery. And uh, this was completely different in SIH. So the preoperative depressive symptoms did not affect the improvement in health rate and quality of life after surgery. So even if they are severely um, affected in scales on depression, anxiety, and stress, this does not affect the, the effect of surgery, so they also improved very well. So higher levels of depressive symptoms did not predict worse outcome. So we can operate these patients. So I think these are our latest results from Freiburg. Thank you.